Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2017 Palomino Puma 32 BHKS triple slide bunkhouse travel trailer with the outside kitchen option. I'm going to try to show you all the features and all the options on this trailer. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the inside and then finish up the video by showing you all the features and options on the outside. Overall length is 36 feet 5 inches. It weighs right around 8,600 pounds. Overall condition, if a dealer was going to rate this 1 through 10, 10 being the best, definitely a 10. Uh, it, there is nothing wrong with this trailer. This is a one owner coach. Uh, the only reason why the owners are selling this trailer is because they're upgrading to a fifth wheel. Give you an idea of the floor plan before I get started. Okay, as I said, this is a triple slide, a 36 foot travel trailer. First slide out is your living room slide with the booth dinette and the couch that slide out. Uh, that slide is going to be about, it's about 12 foot long and it may even be longer. Uh, and it's a definitely three foot deep and it does accommodate the boot dinette which breaks down into a bed all your fabrics everything are in excellent condition kind of give you an idea of the fabric colors here beautiful wood look tabletop here again all your cushions everything excellent condition uh, table breaks down makes a definitely a nice double for two grown adults to sleep comfortably on you do have the ultra leather I guess they're calling this the theater seating sofa uh, the so this sofa does break down like a futon uh, it's a jackknife sleeper sofa definitely one grown adult easily or two grown adults could sleep on this definitely two kiddos could sleep easily on this nice cup holder for theater seating and you do have storage up underneath here all underneath the sofa is all storage you do have night shades all throughout the coach and all your lighting is all LED so it saves you on your battery show you some of this cabinet work here kind of an etched glass look Okay, your kitchen, beautiful kitchen, island kitchen floor plan. Looks like a solid surface countertop, and I believe they are calling it a solid surface, maybe. Um, not real familiar with uh, how Puma does their countertop options, but uh, definitely a huge island kitchen, huge undermount uh, sink, nice double bowl sink. Lots of counter space. This trailer has a, a, a lot of storage. Okay, here's your second slide out. Your whole kitchen slides out with the refrigerator and the stove. Uh, it's, about, uh, it's about six to eight foot long and it's about three foot deep. And you do have all stainless steel appliances. I do believe that was an option or part of a package. Uh, stainless steel oven. I think they're calling this a 17 inch oven, which has never been used. Uh, the three burner cooktop has never been used. Uh, nice glass lid and the front burner is a high output, I believe. And your microwave, of course, stainless steel finish. Never been used. And all your LED puck lights. Eight cubic foot refrigerator. Again, uh, stainless steel finish. This coach still looks brand new. Uh, there's no sign of any kind of wear or tear. Nice pantry area here off to the side. Again, there's huge storage on this coach. 
and pretty much all your traffic area is all the linoleum and it kind of looks like a like a stone look definitely residential style linoleum and I'll show you your outlets here 110 outlet there you got one up in the slide out kitchen area get one underneath the booth dinette here so that linoleum is easier to clean okay and uh, your entertainment center here I believe they're calling it a 39 inch flat screen it is a Vizio show the Vizio badge there does have a uh, Bluetooth uh, stereo home theater with the uh, integrated subwoofer uh, this is the sound bar here there's your stereo you can hook up smart devices to it this is the upgraded fireplace this definitely was an option we're hooked up to 110 and I don't believe I can get the light ambiance to come on I didn't actually even try but anyway that definitely was an option okay this is a bunkhouse bunkhouse floor plan so it's basically a two bedroom there's your third slide out the bottom sofa makes into a jackknife sleeper sofa and uh, there's storage I think up underneath there and above that is the fold away bunk and it does have the they're calling it a, a teddy bear uh, mattress that they put on the bunk beds back here and this goes up Let's go ahead and latch this latch this away there we go rated at 300 pounds kind of give you an idea of what that looks like so you can actually use this as a second living room nice theater sofa there cup holders and it is ultra leather beautiful stitching okay nice TV there I don't know what they're calling it probably a 29 inch and it is a Vizio nice ladder that folds away to get up to your bunk bed loft up here and again it's the the teddy bear mattresses that they use on the bunk beds a little bit more comfortable than the cheap little uh, inner spring mattresses that they usually put on these coaches again huge storage nice big closet space for the kids room all your heat and all your AC is all ducted all the way through this does have a 15,000 BTU ducted AC unit and this does also have the 35,000 BTU furnace the large furnace so definitely a nice feature and of course the recessed puck lights all throughout the coach nice place to hang coats and odds and ends okay before I go into the master bedroom show you the master bath glass enclosed shower this is still winterized anyway this would usually go up here anyway LED light in the shower, skylight in the shower, exhaust vent fan, and AC ducting in the bathroom. And you do have heat ducted into the bathroom too. More storage here and here for towels. Nice uh, vanity area, medicine uh, cabinet there, and foot flush porcelain toilet. I'm sorry, foot flush plastic toilet. this video up here a little bit the master bedroom it's a full walk around uh, queen bed and each side of the bed you do have uh, outlets for plugging in smart devices or a sleep at machine closets on each side more storage space there and 
another TV here. That might be like a 19 inch flat screen. And you do you are cable ready and satellite ready all throughout the coach. Ducted AC, uh, inducted heat. Uh, you do have storage up underneath this bed. I do want to point out this is 50 amp service, which was the option, and it is uh, prepped for a second AC unit if you wanted to put one in here. Standard was 30 amp service on on these trailers, but uh, this does have the 50 amp option. Okay, your monitor panel here, or central command. These are the buttons for your slide outs. That's easy to figure out. Awning for your, or button for your awning. That's easy to figure out. Uh, this is gonna be your porch light outside, one of your porch lights, uh, interior lights. Here, another interior light. That's for the hallway here. Uh, this is gonna be your awning light, uh, the LED light strip that I'll show you outside. Uh, the water heater is a six gallon gas electric, direct spark ignition water heater. Just flip the switch on, whether you're boondocking or plugged in, uh, you'll have hot water within 10 to 15 minutes. And here's your monitor panel. Tells you where you are on your battery. Fully charged, fresh water tank. I think it's 51 gallon on this black tank or the toilet tank. Uh, it's probably just uh, chemicals that they have in there. And gray tank one and gray tank two. So one for the galley or the kitchen. And then one gray tank for the sh bathroom, uh, sink, and the shower. So pretty easy to figure out. Great floor plan. Go ahead and go outside. Hope I showed you everything on the inside. Kind of back up here, kind of give you an idea of the the graphics on this trailer. Uh, this is the aluminum corrugated skin trailer. I did check for hail damage, which is usually what you want to do, especially if you're buying a new one on a dealer's lot. Look for hail damage. Little dinks on the side. Uh, I believe this is going to be some of the thickest aluminum uh, that they're going to offer on the corrugated aluminum skin trailers. Uh, let's see here. You do have a beautiful diamond plate on the front. Nice painted finish on the front end here. Again, all the lights are all LED. Uh, here's another option. Uh, your power hitch jack. And I believe you're going to have... Uh, to 30 pound LP tanks. Uh, standard was 220 pounds. Nice cover uh, to protect your holding tanks. Of course your battery. You do have the heavy duty stabilizer jacks. These are actually, I love these a lot better. Even the veterans, uh, these are a lot better than the new electric ones that are coming out. Uh, they're definitely a lot stronger. Usually what people will do is just take a cordless drill and put a chuck on it and pretty much acts the same as an electric jack. Huge storage, can't really tell. They, they've got this thing loaded up. Show those graphics. I'll show you on the back end. The owner has kept this trailer totally covered in the winter time or when he's not using it. And I'll actually show you where he, uh, his uh, uh, tarp or cover uh, actually uh, tore off a little bit. But uh, you do have the 19 foot power awning. And there's your integrated LED lights. And I did check to see if all the lights are working, and they are. And this is fully adjustable. There's your bug light or scare light, or I'm sorry, they call it a bug light, but that's your uh, other awning light that I was pointing out. 32 BHKS badge there. This is storage up underneath the boot dinette. Nice place for tools and stuff. Looks like that's probably what they did. So. Outside entertainment package, you do have the option to put one of the TVs out here. You do your cable and satellite ready. Show you, there you go, cable and satellite ready outside. So you can set up out here and put your flat screen here. Nice hookups there for hooking up uh, odds and ends, fans, bug lights, whatever. All right, your optional kitchen feature here is is awesome it's just I think they're calling this a 3.1 cubic foot refrigerator basically it's just a huge dorm fridge and you do have hot and cold running water out here so a nice uh, kind of a sink area lots of counter space more storage space microwave magic chef anyway Lots of 
to storage. Again, your heavy duty stabilizer jacks. You do have a gas grill hook up here. And this was a part of a package or an option. Here's your gas grill. It swings out and it hooks right up. Easy to figure out. You do have a ladder to get up on your full walk-on roof if you want to access your, uh, your 15,000 BTU AC unit on the back here, which is really cool. Uh, you do have, uh, it's prepped up if you want to put a backup camera here. It's already prepped up for you. Spare tire, all your tires, the wheels are all 15 inch. Of course, they're in excellent condition. Here's your cable and satellite hookups here. Speed the video up here. Okay, show you the slide outs on the back side here. Your window tinting, I believe it's, uh, your tinted windows here, I think they're gonna be 80% tint. Uh, protects uh, all your fabrics inside from UV damage. Most of them are using 80% tint. There's your furnace exhaust. Uh, remember I said it's a 35,000 uh, BTU furnace, a large furnace. Zoom in on those steel wheels. Easy lube axles. Pop off, pop off the little uh, rubber hubs here and you can grease your axles. This does have an enclosed underbelly. Your, your ta holding tanks are somewhat protected. Uh, but definitely if you get into below 30 degree weather, uh, you, want, you, you definitely want to start heading down south or start thinking about winterizing this thing. Okay, 50 amp service. You've got a nice uh, service light to tell you you got shore power. There's your little 50 amp badge there. Here's your dumping area here. Fresh water gravity fill here, 51 gallon holding tank. Uh, six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. This is storage to your pass through. Nice levels. I've already shown you the diamond plate, which is really nice for rocks kicking up. Uh, it keeps any really damage from uh, happening to your trailer. Oh. Here's where the uh, tarp cover, uh, he got caught a little bit on the rain gutter there. So he, he has definitely kept this thing covered when it was not in use. It's a beautiful trailer, definitely one through 10, 10 being the best. I definitely would rate this a 10 and I think any dealer would definitely agree with me. Oh, and this is solar prepped, which is pretty neat. Okay, if I miss something, I do apologize. If you want to come and see the camper, you deal directly with the ad with the owner. Just call the number on the ad. And uh, if you like this video, get, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Thank you.